Welcome to the Tear Proof Trade Fair here, the 137th Canton Fair, Spring 2025. This, this looks really expensive. It's like a Mustang. What on earth is this? You better prepare for this one here. This year's edition is bigger, smarter, and more international than ever before. With a powerful focus on cutting edge tech, smart manufacturing, AI powered products, and green innovation. Let's see what's powering the world's next big ideas. All right, folks, buckle up because the 137th Canton Fair just shattered records and brought the global trade game to a whole new level. Let's start with this. Over 64,000 international buyers packed the venue on day number one alone. That's right, the busiest opening day in Canton Fair history. Not bad, so much for those tariffs, hey? And it gets bigger. This year's fair saw a jaw-dropping 31,000 exhibitors all across China and beyond, making it the largest lineup of exporters under one roof. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Well, you better prepare for this one here because look at this here. This is the Autonomous Patrol Robot for Surveillance and Strike. And I'm, I'm telling you, this thing is real. Have a look at this. Don't get in the way of this thing here. Who knows what it's capable of, but it is here. It's not just in movies, it's not fictional. This is reality. And I don't know, coming to a country near you? Look out. My name is Alex, how are you? Uh, my name is Terry. Well, what's, what's the name of your company? Uh, our company name is Rotenbot. Okay, and what does this device do? Uh, our spherical robot aims to patrol, to rescue, and to detect. Well, let's, let's go have a look at it, okay? Come on, tell me more about this. So as you can see, we have antenna, we have LiDAR, we have camera and high volume speaker so that it can re uh, manage to autonomous ability. So uh, around 150 kilo to 200 kilo. So that thing, if it's moving, you better yeah. get out of the way. Yeah, and the speed can up to 35 to 40 kilo kph. So I, it'd be impossible for me to outrun this. No, you, you better not. <laughs> so I better be good. Yeah. So with the help of the camera and the LiDAR, it's, it can distinguish the personnel and the obstacles. For the obstacles, it may ar to uh, avoid the obstacles, but for personnel, he will uh, start to pursue the intruders. Does it have a net it can spray out or anything? Yes, the uh, antenna, uh, these all parts are customized, so you can change those things into net guard, and it will uh, shoot the net out of the suspect and to trap I guess it can be used for uh, companies that also need maybe security around a big area at night, uh, not just for police departments around the world, but for securities. Is this actually uh, being manufactured right now or is this a prototype? Yes, we are now customized and manufacturing. So like this uh, is used in airports, airfield to anti-birds and anti-personnel. Can you show me it move? Yes. This guy's gonna control it for us. This is unique. This is the first time I've actually seen this uh, happen. Let's go have a look. And there we go. You do not wanna get in front of this thing because this thing is about over 100 and some kilograms and you can't outrun it. It goes about 35 kilometers uh, per hour. Okay, so what we're starting to see here is a lot of robotics that is geared towards enhancing people's lives. Wow, this is amazing. Come have a look at this. All right, tell, tell us all about it. We are focused on a medical device like you see here. Uh, it's orthopedic robotic. Right now we are doing a practice about a joint replacement uh, demonstration right now about the knee. So this robot with the several indication together in one robot, including that uh, TKA total knee and total hip replacement, including uh, partial knee, okay. Well, let's let's look at this now. So is most of this constructed, made in China, China technology? Oh, yes, uh, absolutely. 
So we have our strong R&D team here. A lot of doctors uh, have us to manufacture those hardware and including the software. Of course, uh, it's very important about the AI algorithms because we have to do the real-time algorithm for the doctor, for the surgeons to make the right decisions in the operation. So let's have a look at here. This is this is more of the software. This is kind of like the software you guys have designed. So this is the control for the uh, entire system, as you can see. Uh, the robots including a uh, system, okay, including three parts. The left side is about the navigations, about eyes of the doctors. And then the robot arm protects us, the, the hand of the doctors. And this is a control system as the brain of the doctors to make the every detail, you know. Thank you very much. Okay. And so much. maybe, countries that are having shortages of surgery doctors well yes. you guys got the solution huh yes of course <laughs> thank you so all right much. thank you very much thank you well i give you the robotic rtk gps boundary free robotic lawnmower well that kind of looks like a mustang i like this robotic lawnmower robotic vacuum cleaner guys we got a tough honey I'm gonna clean the house. I'm gonna take care of the lawn. It's all good, it's all good. What on earth is this? The eye king tech, what, what is this? It looks like an orchid flower. Uh, this is designed uh, after Lotus, yeah. Clearly, yeah. This is our drone and this is the dock station. Right. It's designed to, the drone will fly away around six kilometers and when the battery is out, it, it will fly back to change the battery in, inside here. Here are three batteries. What is what does it do? What's it designed yeah. to do? This is used for the uh, civilians okay. and inspections to patrol uh, through the ele electrical tower, line, mm -hmm. and forest, something like agriculture. So it might be good for like a mining site. It might be good yeah. for like a construction site. It might be good for electrical site, yeah. stuff like that, right? Yeah, exactly. Because it's powered by the AI, it can uh, distinguish anything you want to, to see and you see the potential risk and uh, any damages that you are interested in, yeah. Cool, so great surveillance and it has imagery, right? Imagery system to it, right? Yeah, here, here the camera, it has a visual light camera and a thermal light camera, yeah. So no more hiding out anymore, I guess they're gonna find us. Anyway, how much? Uh, the total system with one drone, one dock, and the, the platform AI based is uh, 100,000 uh, US dollars. Not much when you you can completely uh, clear out your security guards and bring this thing in. Yeah, for sure. You didn't you didn't see the platform yet. You when you see the platform, it will be more than worthy. Yeah, worth it. More than worthy. Well, great. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, this robot robotic dog, his name is Lai Zui. Okay. And he's for education uh, industry. We sell a lot to university and schools who has the AI and robotic course. And the professor can use it to teach the student how the robot works. Wow. And also he can add some uh, uh, AI function on it. Yes. And he can, you can also control the robot with the, uh, this remote, wow. remote controller. And also you can uh, control the robot with your voice. Okay, so it's voice activated. We have a camera that can activate it. What's the name of your company? Uh, the Robotics. How much it would cost a university to purchase it? Or we can't disclose that. $4,000. $4, Around $4,000. Yeah. Let's have a look at this remote here, if we can, just to show you this device. This is incredible. Yeah. Just amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And good luck. Thank okay. You. Okay. Well, let's continue to go. This is, oh, this is Michele Ponte anyway. Nice to meet you, everyone. From me, Michael or Michele or Michele Ponte's YouTube channel. Great to see you here. Now, this is interesting. So I would say that this is something that you can probably find in the Amazon sorting warehouse because we've got big names like Walgreens up here, CVS, Carrier Logistics, Xi'an. These are very popular pro uh, sellers in China. Skechers, Nordstrom, Walmart, all these brands probably use uh, this automated robotic, we'll call it sorting system here, okay? It's quite interesting. You see these bins and trays. Well, they get packed into this and they get all programmed to probably go to what city? A lot of this is battery power technology. Look at this here. This is probably battery power technology as well. And of course, they're working on certain models. Here's the scooter. Have a look at this Segway here, okay? 
Maximum range, 70 kilometers, 1,000 watts, and it's dual suspension. Again, you know, this is about the future. This is about how people are moving around this world. It's not just cars and buses and bad transportation in your countries, especially here in China, they're finding innovative ways to look into the future and to also, um, well, you've probably seen this, maybe not. You might not have seen this in your country, but here in China, it's quite common. It's a robotic waiter that picks up or delivers dishes to your table. Pretty trendy, huh? Well, we got it here in China. I hope it's coming to a country near you. I'm here with Raphael here. Uh, what's the name of the company? Oh, I motion. Okay, good, we're off to a good start here. Tell us about it, what are you guys up to? So we started from, we come from the neuroscience part. So we started with EMG sensors, EEG sensors. So to integrate them into different products, such as the Bionic Hand for Amputees. Right. And since last year, we took the same design for the robotic industry. Okay. So humanoid robots or industrial purpose. Now I see that this is, uh, we're looking at the robotic hand here. Uh, this really helps a lot of people that maybe have lost their hand or something yeah. like that. Yes, that's for the bionic prosthetic hands. So we use the muscle electrical signals to help them control the bionic hands. That's how it works. So how many people are actually using this today? So for now, we have a little bit than 1,000 users in the world uh, for the bionic hands. And is AI playing a part in this right now? Yes, yes. To, to differentiate each signal equals, okay, this would be a gesture like finger pointing or fist or whatever. Okay, so we, we talked about the hand and you have another new device, right? Or is it, uh, you want to expand on that? or The row hand? Yes, yeah, yeah. Of course. Okay. So we have different ways of controlling them. You could either, you could either use them in industrial purpose, uh, pre-program and it will do very specific tests, or you can use teleoperation systems. So with sensors on your gloves, arms, chest to control it in real time or feed the data to the robots. This this looks really expensive. Yes, so the hand by itself is about 5,000 US dollar. So would it be safe to say a, a company like you would work in maybe collaboration, maybe in the medical field, if they look into the future, something with surgery possibly? It could be, yes, also one of the clients that we are looking for are for the research, like universities, for either engineers or other fields that want to uh, learn the robotics and use the robotics for their specific needs. Yes, that's also an option. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. All right. You're thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. This is one fair with endless global connections, bringing buyers from all over the world. Where are you guys from? Spain. Spain? Spain? Yeah. Now, if there's one thing that you could take from the Canton Fair home, just one item in this whole show each, which would it be? What would it be? Oh, ostras. There were a lot of things we like, so it's a very difficult question. Yeah. Now, are you, are, are you guys buyers at the yeah. fair here? What, yeah. what kind of industry are you guys in? We are working on industrial technology in Spain. Okay. That sounds pretty serious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you find what you're looking for here? Yeah, we have a lot of cards, and now when we come, when we arrive home, we'll have to have a look at all the cards. First time to China? My second time. Okay, and first time? My first time. Yeah. First impressions? Uh, you know, very cool. Everything, the people, the food. It's awesome. It's like we've landed on another planet, huh? For sure thing. Good guys, I'll let you get on with your busy day. Thank you again, huh? Thank you so much. Enjoy yourself. Bye bye. Well. We're here at the service robots, kind of like a place where everybody get their uh, picture, I think uh, for a memory. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Good. What, bring, what brings you to the Canton Fair? See the technology. Okay. Yeah. We came from Lao. 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 Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 We've been to Lao before. It's very nice. Very, Beautiful. Uh, Beautiful country. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yes. So have, what's the most exciting thing you've seen at the show? Many, many, many vector that okay. um, many things can make in here yeah and very cheap right and if you could take something home with you what would be the one item if they said you can take anything at the entire canton fair what would it be memories Mem Mem oh that's oh, yeah oh, that's that's a good memory and what do you think of the uh, robots here today yeah it's very nice and very 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 high technology it uh, makes me Exciting. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Thank yeah, you thank again. Thank you very much. All right. Well, everybody, this 
is it at the robotics show here in the Canton Fair, the 137th Canton Fair here in China. And this is amazing. We had an incredible week here at the Canton Fair in Guangzhou, and I'm going to step into the future and take you guys along with me. See you next year.